Hello, my name is Chris with Multitech Addiction, and welcome again to the Beginner's Guide to Fish Keeping. In this episode, we'll be talking to you about filtration. And I couldn't think of anyone better suited to tell you about fil filtration than my friend Jimmy H. with Jimmy H. Aquariums. He keeps a lot of African cichlids, and as you may or may not know, African cichlids do produce a lot of poo. So, without further ado, here's Jimmy H. to talk to you about filtration. When it's just you, well times can be tough. When there's no one there. Hey guys, it's Jimmy H. here. Thanks uh, Chris for the spot on this uh, series of um, videos that he's putting together. Well, my topic today will be filtrations um, and types of filters that you can use for the fish hobby. Well, there's three major categories that all filters are, you know, useful for. So they're mechanical, biological, and chemical. And I'll go over basically all three of them, and then I'll go over a s numbers of uh, s types of filters that you can use, um, and hopefully. You can choose the one that fits your uh, your needs for your tank. All right. Hope you enjoy it. All right. Category number one: mechanical filtration. This is where the water is forced through a sponge filter, and it's designed to catch particles suspended in the water, such as uh, adenin fish food and fish poop. This is the basic form of filtration, but yet very effective in my opinion. Uh, a lot of people use this, this type of filtration. Second filtration is a chemical filtration. This is basically known as using carbon or if you're more advanced chemi pure and pyrogen to uh, detoxify the water in your aquarium. Third sort of filtration is biological. This is also known as the nitrogen cycle. This is, uh, this is basically the process of breaking down the dangerous ammonia level in your uh, aquarium. The ammonia is caused by uneaten fish food and fish poop as well and it uh, converts them to nitrites and then the nitrites become nitrates and which is safe for the fish um, so the, the people will call this in the hobby will call beneficial bacteria beneficial bacteria grows on your biological filtration such as your sponges your polyphils your seeded medias and whatnot and it makes the water safe for your fish um, so those are the three categories guys so let's uh, touch basis on some of the types of filters that you might be able to choose for your aquarium needs all right Hey Jimmy, thanks a lot for all that information. That was a lot to fit in there. But really guys, just remember, it's really important to make sure that you get the right kind of filtration for the type of aquarium you're gonna have, not to mention the type of uh, aquatic life you're gonna have. Not necessarily just fish. You do have shrimp on occasion in your tanks. And there's also other things available like aquatic frogs and turtles. So if you're not just keeping fish, and you do plan on keeping something else, you need to make sure that you get the right filtration to cover all of those things. And just remember, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time. Thanks again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.